How's it going, NSCAA? I'm your co-host, Billy Hartman, outside of the Rhine Energy Stadium in Cologne, Germany, where reporter Ali Dozman is standing by with the inside scoop over scouting professionally in Europe as well as collegially in the United States. Take it away, Ali. Thanks, Billy. I'm inside FC Kern, where the 2014 European Coaches Tour got to take a look around the stadium and the training facilities. Our tour was led by Scout, who told us what their recruitment process is like. Benjamin Webb, first team opposition analyst, and Martin Scholes, first team scouting coordinator, led the group. Scholes is one of six to seven scouts for the club. The scouts must watch players and rank them in five games before bringing their profile to the head coach. Clubs like Kern have elaborate technologies, but still must compete against high-profile clubs for top players. I think there were maybe 200 scouts sitting there, and you watched the game, and after the game it was obvious, okay, this number nine player and number three on the other team are the two main, main players. This is why everybody's here. You knew exactly who was in the books, and, and everybody was talking about this player, that player, but you just kind of, I, I think our philosophy is you just kind of keep to yourself, Listen, okay, but also to take it with a grain of salt. In the United States, there's similarly a lot of competition, but the university's resources not nearly as vast. Utilizing too many scouting resources, however, has its disadvantages. I think you're disconnected a little bit with, uh, <clears throat> with the head coach. Like, I, my staff is me and one full-time assistant, um, where these guys have six or seven guys all over the world, so the communication and the documentation has to be more detailed so you're communicating the right inf information to the people that are actually writing the checks for these players. So hopefully with the increased popularity of this World Cup, United States college coaches begin to get a little bit more access. Billy, back to you. Well, Ali, it's very interesting to see the similarities and differences between the United States and Europe. Thanks so much. And for everything else about the 2014 World Cup, you can check us out on the web at nscaa.com as well as scriptsoccer.org. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at NSCAA, as well as on Instagram at OhioU underscore NSCAA. I'm Billy Hartman. We'll see you next time.